You've requested it, so today we're going to look at the Wecom 4-16 cable stripper. Well, we can argue over the name, and I'm sure our German viewers will correct us, but this cable stripper got a lot of interest when we made a previous video looking at NYY cable and its UK derivative. What was it called, Gary? And that would be the Tough Sheath cable, something you found incredibly difficult to say in that video. And if you haven't checked out that video, the differences between NYY and Tough Sheath cable from Doncaster, check it out. And there's some really good differences that will make electricians' life that little bit easier. Yeah. Now, this tool is particularly useful for that cable because it's a viable alternative to steel wire armoured cable in lots of applications. Yeah. So you're not worried about removing the steel, you're just worried about the outer jacket and that's what attracted us to it. So what tool we're going to use to, to do that. And again, tough sheath, the name gives it away. It is quite a tough sheath in terms of stripping it. Yeah. It's a PVC compound, but it's, uh, it's, yeah. it is tough. And it takes some effort. So let's see how we set it up because it's important we get the blade at the right depth in relationship to this outer sheath. Yes, so this is our uh, Recon stripper. So you've got the clamp mechanism here, and mm. you can just see the blade inside there. Yes, okay. So that's the cutting blade. So I'll just get these uh, flexible tails from uh, Doncaster Cable. Right, okay. Also known as flexi tails, Gary. We have done a review on these yes. as well. Um, so again, just clamp it round. Right. Spin the tool around a few times. And then the clever bit, as you pull this way, the blade's going to swivel around and slice down the outer jacket. So now if I go back in there now, you should be able to fill that. Oh yeah, lovely. Pull that off. And you can see I haven't gone into the inner uh, insulation there. All right, okay, brilliant. So we have to set the blade every time, unless you're doing yeah. obviously multiple times. Can you just show us how you set that it's blade? Quite easy way just to put the blade against. So I say I was going to remove the inner conduction, the inner insulation there yeah. now. I'll just position my blade against it. And then rotate the... And then rotate, you've got a screw at this end here, and that obviously moves the blade in and out. Okay, so in order to set it, ah, yeah. nice and simple. So a really dead simple tool, but uh, we handed it over to our tame electrician. Let's, let's see how we got on. So Gordon's shown us how to set the blade up, so all of these have been set up correctly for each of the cables. We can start off with a Doncaster tough sheath cable so off we go with the outer so I find a split of the top and I should be able to just peel this one straight off so sometimes it just runs the last little bit on the end just look you see there I didn't quite catch the last little bit so you want to just pop that through ever so easy to pull it off there we go so we're down there now the bedding material next I'm gonna have an attempt to use it so I'll need to adjust my blade in order that I can ring round for the second part so exactly the same technique pop it on just get a little squeeze Round I go and then straight down it and you'll see again look that's uh, taking the bedding material split it nicely a little bit on the end again just pull just take that apart and we're ready to terminate our tough sheath cable. Meter towels next so I've gone for the 19 core ones from Doncaster so we're going to use it again I've adjusted the blade all the way round straight down again this time I got the end bit a little bit softer material oh that was so simple in order to get the outer PVC off, let's do the inner. So removing the brown now, in we go, push down round, pop it off. See how easy that peels away, so just gonna get it from the end again, Gary. And then that should come off nice and simply. So there's our 19 cores, flexible tails. Flex is next, so standard three core flex. Again, we've got the technique by now. Obviously a lot easier there. You can see how much easier it is on a flexible cable than ones that's a little stiffer. I just pull it straight off. Easy. No issues at all. So let's move on to this one. Highly flexible class six conductor with over 300 strands in it. So I've got to be careful not to catch any of those strands. So you'll notice when I pull this off, did I catch any of them? Because you'll see those copper pieces, little strands coming out. So here we go. So pull off the outer jacket. There we go. So none of them were damaged. Well, you made a light work of those, Gary, so good thing there. Lots of different types of cable, isn't there? So, yeah, yeah some very flexible ones and some, some tougher ones in there. And all in common, they're all round cables, so that was obviously part of the tool. So, yeah, she saw all those different ones. I went around the workshop, picked up all the different ones in order to put it to a test. And, it, yeah, it was really good. However, we did find the ambient temperature made all stripping, including this one, that little bit more challenging, didn't it we? Yeah, uh, you may have noticed. We're not cold in here today because we've warmed our sense up with these... Uh, 
these heated vests that we've also done a review on. So check that from uh, Mickey and you'll see Gary modelling them. So I should remember that word there. Or he's now a model. Um, but yes, but makes a difference. Keep, these keep us toasty and warm. We find with all types of cable, you know, if you're buried away on the data sheet, there's a recommended temperature when you should be installing them. Right. If you ignore that, you'll have trouble bending the cable. You could damage the cable, but it also makes a massive difference when you're stripping the cable as well if it's not at the right temperature. Absolutely. And yeah, that would be that. Now, we don't normally mention price on the channel because we don't like to, but we are in this because these are words of inexpensive, aren't they? Yeah, I'd say competitively priced. Uh, obviously, we don't... We don't yeah, blurt a price out there because prices change, but we will put a link in the description below to an online retailer where you might be able to get this with next day free delivery. And obviously that can change depending on where you are in the world and the price, but that is, yeah, this competitively priced tool, definitely. And with that in mind, then I went on to say, well, hang on a minute, it's got a blade in it, it's competitively priced, that can we unscrew and replace that blade, Gordon? Yeah, you can. And that, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, a replacement blade is also competitively priced. Um, and quite easy to do and freely available. So yeah, that's a that's for me a great tool. If you yeah, the tough sheath we've done meter tails, flex, yeah, almost I dare suggest the toolbox essential. Now you said it's the four sixteen. Yeah, I did. And Vcon make lots of other cable strippers. So we've got the eight twenty seven. What do you reckon that means? Uh, does that go eight to twenty seven millimeter diameter? It is the diameter of the cables where our first one was obviously four to sixteen. The one we're looking at here. They also do another one. So you think it'd be logically the next step up? It isn't. It's four to twenty eight. However. That is a slightly different design. It's exactly the same here with an extra bit. It's got a knife blade on the end. Okay, but I recommend, and lots of pictures you see online, it's actually got the plastic cap over it, protecting the blade. You imagine you're dragging down the cable. You'd like to make sure that that blade is protected at that stage. Mm. Yeah, so, well, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you've got experience using that variant, then yeah a comment below but uh, would like to know how you get on with that but yeah i like this too we always like to send our videos to another video so we're going on to look at different classes of conductor aren't we yeah <laughs> okay Oof, we steep the deaths obviously yes conductors come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes but in conductor classes we're going to be looking at the stranding of conductors okay and that's important for other videos we're going to revisit and that's our series on ferrules as well okay so if you haven't checked out our video series on ferrules, I also strongly recommend you have a look at those. And now they can improve electrical connections. So that's where we're going to after this. We've been to this one. So we've looked at NYY and a cable called? Tough sheath. Oh, but that was a yeah. lot quicker than take two. Also known in the past, high tough, but the manufacturer stopped making that. And now uh, yeah, Doncaster cables have taken up the mantle and now make the tough sheath cable. Depending on whether you call it Wecon or Vcon, now I'm, I'm between that because that would make this Vorta, I think, if we're going to use your rule. It doesn't matter which one you use. I believe it's Vassar. Yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're always interested in your comments on cable strippers in this case. Are you currently using these ones from Vcon? Are you using one of the range and maybe you'd like us to review it because it's got some great points? Please leave that comment below. Is there somebody in there asking a question you know the answer to? Make sure you comment against that. Is there another stripper you'd like us to take a look at? Leave your comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.